Hello everyone welcome to infinity physics in this lecture we will solve a question related to chapter 3 class 12 the question given six resistors of 3 omega each are connected along the sides of a hexagon and three resistors of 6 omega are each are connected along ac ad and ae as shown in figure the equivalent resistance between point a and b that we have to find so if we connect here a virtual battery then we can observe that so by connecting the virtual battery we can identify the flow of current so if the current flows from this path then here three this three and this three are in series connection so their equivalent resistance is 6 ohm so here the equivalent resistance of their that two three ohm resistor is 6 now this 6 ohm and this 6 ohm are in parallel connection so 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 we get here 1 by 3 so the equivalent resistance of this 2 6 ohm is 3 but this 2 6 ohm resistor the combination of this 2 6 ohm resistor is in series with this 3 ohm resistor so their combination is 3 and 3 plus 3 we get here 6 ohm so the combination of this part is 6 ohm so this part 6 ohm and this 6 ohm are in parallel connection so so on simplifying that particular circuit we observe that this 6 ohm resistor that we obtained and this 6 ohm resistor are in parallel connection so their combination is 3 ohm and that 3 ohm that this combination is in series with this 3 ohm resistor so their simple solution can be obtained here so here you observe that the combination of this 6 ohm this 6 ohm and this 3 ohm resistor is 6 ohm now this circuit this circuit can be this 2 6 ohm resistor and 1 3 ohm resistor their combination is 6 ohm so that can be simply we can write here 6 ohm so that 6 ohm resistor that combination of 6 ohm resistor and this 6 ohm resistor are in parallel connection so this parallel connection again we can solve we will get this 3 ohm so here this 3 ohm resistor that is the combination of that 2 6 ohm resistor is 3 ohm and this 3 ohm again are in series connection so 3 plus 3 is 6 so this two combination this 3 and 3 now become 6 so this 6 ohm resistor and the remaining 3 ohm resistor are in parallel connection so 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 we get here 3 by 6 that is 1 by 2 and the final resistance is 2 ohm here 